Hey, this is uh, me and Dylan at Dylan's house. Genghis, Genghis Khan featuring Andy Warstar and Dylan Gerard. Say that correctly? Okay, one.
speaker. Play that song. Uh, the hey, uh, the, the song's called Retrospective. It, it's, it's in three, it's okay, something song. different. I think it's gonna be after my room. The, uh, the end, the end of that song, ending. And we're recording.
Okay, now Dylan's on the guitar and I'm on drums. We've switched. You're a very, very good drummer, naturally, I can tell, and, and, um, and I'm not just placating you. I'm, I'm pre I was practicing for a while the last month with the guitar, so...
Okay, silence in the studio. Silence. Silence motorcycle. Silence and go. Thank you. 
Another one bites the dust. 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 And another one gone. Another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Oh yeah. Another one bites the dust. Another one buys the dust.
with a safety pin in her head. She winked at me and I asked her if she listened to Hunter Fred. She said, yeah, honey, of course I do. Now take me home to bed. Virginia's vagina, Virginia.
Look at my life, I'm a lot like you are. Oh man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you are. Oh man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you are. Oh man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you to me, to mean that much to you. Love lost such a cause, give me things that won't get lost, like a coin that won't get tossed, rolling over to you. Oh man, take a look at my life, I'm a lot like you. darkness and through the dust and down the weary miles of avenue by the wayside slowly tending towards that point of the compass where the chateau of monsieur the marquis now in his grave 
listened to the whispering trees. Such simple leisure had the town faces now for listening to the trees and to the fountain that the few village scarecrow who in their guest for herbs to eat and fragments of dead stick to burn strayed within sight of this great stone courtyard and terrace staircase that had borne in up and in upon the star fancy that the expression of the faces was altered. A rumor must live in the village, and a faint and bare existence there as its people had that when the knives struck home, faces change from faces of pride to the face of anger and pain. Also, that when the dangling figure was hauled up forty feet above the fountain, they changed the game said bore a cruel look of being avenged which they would henceforth bear forever. In the stone face over the great window of the bedchamber where the murder was done, two fine dints were pointed out in the sculptured nose which everyone recognized and nobody was seen alone. Guys, it's occasions when two or three ragged peasants emerge from the crowd to take a hand in peace. The mystery of the Marquis specified the skinny finger would not have printed to it for a while before they all started away. These slaves among the moss and leaves, like the more fortunate hands who could find really there. Chateau and had stone face and dangling figure. The red stain on the stone floor. And the pure water in the village. Keep going, we got a recording. Are we recording? Yeah, part three. Part three. Chateau and had stone face and dangling figure. The red stain on the stone floor. And the pure water in the village. Well, thousands of pages of land, the whole per province of France, all France itself, lay under the night sky, concentrated into a faint air of line. So does the whole world, with all its greatnesses and littlenesses, lie in a twinkling star. And, and as mere human knowledge can split a ray of light and analyze the manner of its composition, so Sublimer intelligences may, the manner of its composition, may read in the feeble shining of this earth of ours every thought and act, every vice and virtue of every responsible creature on it. To the Farges, husband and wife came lumbering under the starlight in their public vehicles to, to that gate of Paris where unto the journey naturally intended. There was the usual stoppage at the barrier and guard houses and the usual lanterns came glancing forth for the usual examination of inequity, inquiry, and inquiry. Monsieur Defarge slighted knowing one or two of the soldiers there and one of the police. The latter he was intimate with and affectionately embraced. When Saint Antoine had again unfolded the Defarge's dusky wings, and they having finally slighted near the Saint's boundaries, their way on the foot, so uh, picking their way on foot through page hundred. It was on page 176. Now I'm on page 176. What? It's misprinted. It's 175 is misprinted. Uh, how about that? There's a misprint, but... Looks like a five doesn't look like a five. I don't know how old that book's at least fifty years old. 
Okay, maybe it was. Uh, I just, I'm just blurred. My, it's not a misprint. What's a misprint? Nothing. I'm tripping out. I'm tripping out. I'm tripping out. There's a lady I know that glitters is gold, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. <sighs> Picking their way on foot through the black mud and awful of his streets. Madame Defarge spoke to her husband. Say then, my friend, what did jocks of the police tell the I? Very little tonight, but all he knows, there is another spy commissioned for our quarter. There may be many more, for all that he can say, but he knows of one. Eh, well, said Madame Defarge, raising her eyebrows with a cool business air. It is necessary to register him. How do they call that man? He is English. So much the better. His name? Barsad, said Defarge, making it French by pronunciation. But he had been so careful to get it accurately that he then spelt it with perfect correctness. Barsad, repeated Madame. Good. Christian name. John, John Barsad, repeated Madame, after murmuring it once to herself. Good, his appearance isn't known. Age about forty years, height about five feet nine, black hair, complex and dark, generally rather handsome, visage, eyes dark, face thin, long and sallow, nose aquiline but not straight having a peculiar inclination towards the left cheek expression therefore sinister eh my faith it is a portrait said madame laughing he shall be registered tomorrow they turned into the wine shop which was closed for it was midnight and where madame defarge immediately took her post at the desk counted the small monies that had been taken during the her absence examined the stock, went through the entries in the book, made off other entries of her own, checked the serving man in every possible way, and finally dismissed him to bed. Then she turned out the contents of the bowl of the money for the second time and began knotting them up in her handkerchief in a chain of separate knots for safe keeping through the night. All this while, the farge with his pipe in his mouth walked up and down, complacently and Murray, but never interfering in much condition. Indeed, as to the business and the domestic affairs, he walked up and down through life. Hey, bro, are you partying hard or hardly partying? like you're hardly partying. Party hard and party on. Rock on. Enjoy and rock on. Standing by the freeway With 
Some food kind of like 7-Eleven But a little more crude I found a bean burrito for about 59 As I yeah, raised it in my mouth too. Everything was just fine But then a microwave burrito burned my face a microwave burrito burned my face Never should have bought food from this place Said a microwave burrito burned my face
Just like the towel for it. Yeah. Tapes. I want to touch my favorite. Basement. 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 Basement.
basement tapes.
Is it? Yeah. So, uh... Sorry for stepping on your face. 
the basement tapes. I never stopped press. Uh, I never, um, that's press right, stopped. Burritos. I'll send you burritos. Burritos. We're thinking about ordering some burritos. Uh, we could walk to Guzman. Guzman? No, no, no. Let's, let's just do menu log. Yeah, we're gonna get some burritos up in here in the basement. Up, in, up, in, up here in the basement. Way up here in the basement. Way, way up here. Okay, is this the end of the recording? Actually, and we're gonna go. We're gonna get a. No, we're gonna we're gonna order food. We could walk there. Uh, Why uh, go anywhere if we don't have to? Um, uh, because yeah, good drumming, man. Thanks, man. That was fun. Good guitar playing. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, um, we recorded all that. That was this is the basement tapes. We're up in the basement. Right. Yeah, it's recording. This is a song like a second. Okay, rock and roll. This is your old pal, Andy Warstar, is saying. <laughs> Look both, both ways before you cross the street. Look both ways before you cross the street. Yeah, cool. I want to go both feet too. Look both ways before you cross the street. Check two.
Check two, check two. Okay, this is uh, Andy Warstar coming at you from Banyapa Park uh, with Dylan Gerard, and we are going to play some piano for you. And I uh, hope this recording comes out well. So enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> that was fun. Hey, we didn't even have an audience at the end. We drove them away. We had an audience yeah. behind us. Hey, that, that, that was rad, dude. Like...
back in my head brand new Girl, kitchen is fucked up